How to import reviews from AliExpress to Shopify. Now, in today's quick tutorial, I'm going to show you everything needed to successfully add and import all sorts of different reviews from AliExpress onto your Shopify store. This will also include stuff like pictures. You can also sort this by ratings and so on. Now, before we can continue, I currently give out my Shopify course for completely free. So if you do want to streamline your Shopify journey, make sure to click on the link down below. Now, with that being said, to get started, you actually do want to head over to your Shopify dashboard. And then, once you are on this dashboard, you just want to look for judge. Basically, just look for product review right here. Uh, and then you will have the option to actually just search in the Shopify App Store. Um, and this will then open up the App Store. Now, as you can see, there are tons of different product review apps. Now, some of these are going to be paid. Like for example, this uh, this Luke's one. Uh, a lot of other YouTubers are going to tell tell you that you should actually get this because they do have an affiliate link for this one. But basically, the one that I would recommend you to get started with would be this Judge.me product reviews app, as this is actually completely free uh, when getting started. Now, just select this app right here and then click on install. Now, this is then going to take a couple of seconds and then you're going to be redirected to this page where you will just have to click on the install button to actually grant Judge Me the access to all of the different informations on your store. Now, then this is going to be uh, actually the setup. Make sure to just select your a language. As you can see, they do have English, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese, as well as German. And then you will actually have to select where you want to install this. So in this case, I'm just going to install it to my current theme. However, you can then actually also install it to other themes that you have on your store. I will then just click on start setup and now we will have to first of all enable the app embed. This is really important, a lot of people forget this. This is right here on the left. So right here on the app embeds, make sure that this is enabled and then click on save right here on the top right. This is then going to be saved. Now we can head back to Judge Me. We can then click on next step. Now we will actually have to install the review widget onto our store. So in this case, this is then automatically going to redirect us. And as you can see right here on the left, the review widget now got added. So if we're now going to click on got it, as you can see, um, there are, this is basically just a preview of what this is going to look like. And um, you do have different kind of reviews uh, right here. And you can then actually also further customize this. However, just for the beginning, this is how this is going to look like. You can then obviously also play around with this. You can, for example, drag it to the top right here uh, and so on. Now let me quickly change the preview of this to give you guys a better idea. So for example for this portable fruit juicy blender the custom review, review section is then going to show up right here. Okay then make sure to save this, head back to the setup right here and click on next step. Now basically you will have to install the preview badge onto your store. So once again just click on this link this is automatically then going to redirect you and then this is also successfully added. This will then show up right here under the product. Let me once again quickly demonstrate you this. So this is then going to show right here uh, as kind of social proof. Uh, then I would actually recommend you to maybe drag this under the price right here. I think like this, this is actually going to look way better. And then you do have your sample reviews right here. Obviously we are going to update this with the actual reviews uh, from AliExpress later on. So once you are ready with that, you will just have to click on finish right now. Now basically just click on try again or skip the step. I don't know what they're doing right now. But basically right now we're done with the actual judge.me setup. Now you do want to search for judge.me AliExpress. And then you want to once again just search for this in the app store. And then you do want to click on judge.me AliExpress reviews. This app will basically allow you to then automatically import all of your different reviews from AliExpress onto judge.me. So once again, the setup is going to be the same. Click on install right here. This will then install the app. And now, once this is successfully updated, we can then actually get started. So make sure to just click on next right here and then click on start importing now. So we can then just click on this button right here and we will then have to put in the URL of our AliExpress product. Now, in this case, this is really important. Uh, I'm actually going to import reviews for this portable fruit juice blender right here. So in this case, I'm just going to open this up right here. Make sure to actually select a listing that has a lot of reviews, preferably also reviews with pictures as these ones are uh, mostly actually 
premium and are mostly better for customers and for conversion rate. So in this case, I'm then just going to copy the link of this product page right here from AliExpress. I'm then going to go back to judge.me and I'm just going to paste this in. And then you will have to select the product that these reviews should get imported to. In this case, this would be this portable. So just look for portable and then select your product right here. This will obviously dif uh, be different. This will obviously be this will obviously be different for your product. Just make sure to select the correct product so that everything is correctly aligned. And then you will have to select how many number of reviews you do want to import. Now, I would actually recommend you to either just leave this at 15 or you can also basically up this. In my case, I'm just going to make sure that we are going to add 25 product reviews. And then we can also select country filters. So if you, for example, uh, have a store that is primarily targeted to people in Spain, and then you could select it right here. In my case, as I'm just going to demonstrate you everything, I'm just going to leave this all at the default as I don't want to waste your time essentially. Then as for content filters, um, basically right here, uh, you can select that the reviews must have content. I would recommend you to always leave this on on and then you can also select that the reviews should have pictures now uh, when this is selected all of the reviews that you are going to import are going to have pictures uh, in my opinion uh, it's actually worth to keep this on because this will basically get basically the customers are going to have a more premium feel when looking through the uh, through the reviews as basically more pictures kind of show trust worth and i think so so basically i always leave this on and then you can also select the minimum amount of words. In my case, I'm just going to up this to five so that we are going to get high quality reviews from AliExpress. Then in this case, we can also translate this to English, um, which I'm actually just going to leave on right now. And then I would actually recommend you to also save these settings for the default import settings. Then click on import reviews. This is then going to take a couple of seconds. They stayed one to two minutes, but mostly it's instantly done. So let's quickly just head over to reviews right here. And as you can see, now all of the reviews uh, successfully got added. So now that these reviews got added, we actually do need to connect both of these apps. So to do so, so just click on open judge.me right here, and this will then redirect you to the app. Then right here, just make sure to actually select all of the reviews right here. And then once you've selected all of the reviews, make sure to publish them right here. Then once these are published, these are actually going to show up right here under product reviews. So if we're now going to open up our online store, these should actually now show up. So let me quickly open up the pro product right here. And as you can see, now we do have all of the different uh, reviews. Now, I would actually recommend you to um, basically delete the one star reviews as these aren't going to build up a lot of trust. But basically you do have your reviews right here. However, we aren't done yet. I will also show you how to customize this because in my opinion, by default, this default widget doesn't really look that nice. To customize this widget, you will just have to head back to judge.me and then head to widgets right here on the left. This will then open up this page. Make sure to just click on manage right here. And this will then open up the editor. Now, uh, as you can see, basically the default widget theme is going to be the only one available for the free plan. And I wouldn't recommend you to actually upgrade just for the sake of uh, choosing another widget theme. However, obviously, if you do have the money, it could be worth to invest into this. Either way, the, the thing that we are actually going to change uh, would be this colors thing right here. So right here, I would then recommend you to just update this to the color that you're going to use on your product or on your store. You can then actually also change up the text. You can change photos, videos, and so on. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, I currently give out my Shopify course for completely free. Make sure to check out the link down below.